after part one and two of the catacombs, they use the same dungeon twice. You just go to the right here for part three. The old archives. But this guy's gonna do some talking, so you got him in a buff up here. He's gonna talk and talk. Alright, and he's still gonna be talking. But like I said in the last video, I got my 200 spell point. Ironstone. Ironstones can drop anywhere from anything that I've seen. I don't see any specific way to farm them. Uh, it's just loot a lot of chests. Same with my lavender. Just waiting on this guy to fit. Oh, that was pretty quick. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and put this on just my spell. It increases all my DCs by one. Oh, stay away from shadows. Oh, didn't have a saving throw or anything from that. The shadows do strength damage. There's a percentage chance when they hit you. Alright, so we got a secret door here. We're getting three notes or whatever from here. Hey, I got hit. No strength damage. I don't know. Maybe they don't do it at this low level. This is Death Ward is... I don't know. I don't leap to level 5. You get Death Ward at level 5 if you're a cleric. Level 5. Oh, no, it's a level 4 spell. So you wouldn't get to level 7. Yeah, so maybe they just made it so they don't do strength damage. These things have, like, no hit points. Or I'm just doing that much more damage now. I think this opens up the shrine here. Alright, we're going to continue on our way. Uh, there is a secret door. It's going to have an arcane skeleton behind it when we get there. There's a few collectibles in this quest. I don't run through and kill everything because it just doesn't seem uh, worth the effort. All right, the arcane skeleton's in there. I think he's got some skeletal archers with him. And there is a trap on that chest. I'm going to see if I can find the box. If there is a box, I'm going to look. Let's see. Yes, there is a box. So we'll go ahead and disable this trap. Get my loots. I'm always nervous. Like I get a little twinge right before I loot something. Like a chest after I disable it a lot. I don't know why. I'm worried that there was another box or something. Uh, I'm not sure the dot hit him. I don't I didn't see it in the damage numbers. Okay, here's the second. Oh, we got a spider in there. No problem. I'll take care of him. I have to heal myself here in a second. I've only got one of the, like the feigned health or whatever that warlocks get that give you temporary hit points when you cast a spell on yourself. So I think it's only like 33% of my charisma. As you'll see, I got nine temporary hit points. That's just kind of weird because I have a 30 charisma. So you think it'd be 10 hit points, but whatever. Not a huge deal. Continue through the dungeon here. Got hung up on all my butt back there. Couple archers. He's a little beefy. I found the other secret door because my clicky was still active. This one does have a trap in it. There's a mob. Uh, oh, shadows. Years ago, there was a white in here. I also don't remember grabbing a crest years ago. Okay, so we're going to search for the trap. I think it's a blade trap. I also believe it's only a one shot. So if you can make it go off without getting hit, I think you're good. Grab this chest. 
And grab the... Oh, I forgot to put my voice and master on. That's okay. Uh, I don't see... I thought this opened up. Uh, yep, there we go. And I think he's going to give us... No, he didn't give us an emerald ward. And the bookcase grinds open to the west. Oh, it's this one. Alright, it's part three. We have the catacombs. Let's see where it wants me to go. I guess I'm going downstairs. To the next part. So before... They had you run up to talk to Archbishop after every single one. Alright, so this is... Crypt of Gerard... Dryden. This one's actually kind of long. Uh, but with Cone, I can get through it pretty quick. Because each of these sarcophagi can pop and spawn a skeleton. So we're going to do, as we're going, we're just going to pop them. Because you kind of come back through. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of them now. Let's see if I can't run through this in under 10 minutes. I'm just going to pop everything. Breakable XP speed doesn't hurt either. I got stuck there. Alright, let's finish off the skeletons. This is Archer. Ooh, ate the bolt. We don't have any Radiance lore on. Just Radiance, period. Oh, my scepter. This one. Got it slotted in the red slot. I've always debated getting Utter Dark Blast or not. Uh, it changes your f from your Elder's Blast your force damage into evil damage. Which I'm not sure there's anything in the game that resists evil damage. The same with force damage, I don't think there's anything that is resistant to force that isn't also resistant to evil damage. Like golems and such. Pretty sure they're resistant to evil damage. I can always get yellow numbers on them. And the, the whole debate for me is because Black Tentacles believe does physical damage, which comes off of Impulse, which also does force damage. See, Impulse and Kinetic Lore increase your force and physical. You're not typed, but Tentacles might be able to type damage. All I know is the Impulse affects it. It's, but your Bolts chaotic damage was also affected by radiance so either way you, you if you're going for a maximum amount of damage you're going to be wearing impulse radiance and whatever pack you pick for maybe corrosion we were in all three anyway so i'm not sure that and when you fight will-o-wisp later in the game they're they're susceptible to force damage and these things can be pretty nasty with all lightning spells and magic missile spam. So we're not too worried about the magic missile, but the lightning can really tear through you. So I don't know. I've always debated getting it. But I'm also I'm getting burning in blood, so I gotta sacrifice something somewhere. Which I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get the confusion stuff this time. I usually do. Where there's a... After six points spent, you get a 10% chance to confuse things with your Eldritch Blast. I'm not sure how much it's actually helping. But it does affect things that it shouldn't. Like, it'll affect undead. It'll affect oozes. It'll affect golems. I mean, things that it... If you're a pen and paper player, you're like, it shouldn't be doing that. Now, very rarely do I notice the confusion. Like, they'll fight each other or just stand there. Uh, but it's for such a short period of time, I don't think it's actually... I don't think it's worth the six action points, to be honest. I mean, that's a lot of investment for something you're not seeing too much... Reward for. 
so I can spend some of that in burning blood and maybe elsewhere. He's got a crown. Let's go ahead and finish him. That one hit point I just got back is from the threadle cloak that I'm wearing. Uh, I won't be going through Threnel. It's been so long. I've only done it two or three times ever. So I don't really know it too well. And I know there's a there's a spot where you gotta defend a guy after waves of mobs are coming at you unless they've changed it. Which they've changed quite a few things. But always remember that was a pain in the butt. So you'd get up and you'd get killed, you'd fail the quest. Yeah, it's just not a fan of having a defending PCs in any game. So you tend to be a little gung ho and want to attack, charge ahead. It's super hard to defend them. Alright, buffs are dropping, so I'm gonna re up. They all popped. Tougher. Another reason why I'm combining a couple of videos together, or a couple of quests into one video, is YouTube has a limit of how many videos you can upload. And I want to continue leveling him, but I don't want to do it without recording. And if I'm not uploading, then I don't feel like the recordings really doing anything. Get these warriors out of the way. Uh, once you hit level 5, it's, uh, XP is not too bad. There's a lot of quests available. I don't have the Feywild, so I won't be doing those. This last, last thing I spent my points on was... Uh, Plus eight supreme tone, which I think is well worth it. This Orok has reincarnated over 20 times. I know other people have way more than that, but let me go ahead and grab that, whatever that was. Uh, like I said, I've gone for a few years, so didn't keep up with the times. No big deal. See what what the biggest change is Reaper, and I stopped right as uh, the enhancement trees changed. Now you have the tiers and stuff. Now before it was just the drop down menus, and that's that's what I used. It was the drop downs. Um, I mean either way is fine. Uh, at least with this way you can look all the way up the tree. But the drop downs. I mean, you could, but it was a little, a little less uh, user-friendly, I guess I would say. Yeah, I don't mind the tree progression thing like they have. It lets you map out a little bit better. Not that I map very well. I mean, for most uh, builds that I'm trying, I'll just kind of glance at stuff. And if anything jumps out, then I'll be like, oh, I'll try to get that. But normally, yeah, I'll, I'll, finish, I'll respect trees a lot. I'm trying new builds. This one I've done, I've done Warlock a handful of times now. And it's. Like, for all my racial reincarnations, I'm going to be doing a Warlock. It's just easier to get through. Right now, I'm getting through my tiefling racials. Now, this will be my first tiefling racial. They'll get me through. So I have another plus one to charisma. I already have the dragonborn racial three times. I have a warforce racial once. So we're not going to really talk about that. I don't. <laughs> so I don't really plan things. Just kind of go. To me, planning is, takes all the fun out of it. If you know what exact feat you take and when, it, it takes away some of the excitement. And I know, pretty, you know, a couple items I'm gonna have at certain levels. 
but I'll still be wearing some random stuff here and there. Just whatever seems to fit best at the time. Oh, blur just dropped. So we've been in here. What does it last? Four minutes? Yeah, four minutes. So I've been here eight minutes. And we're almost done. We're back to the... We looped all the way back to the beginning here. Alright, because we need this key. This key will open some of the inner doors. Uh, three of them. One of them is like a secret extra locked door with a treasure chest, I think. So we'll be doing that since I've got a lock. Oh, last level. For skill points, I kept my disabled... Uh, put half a rank in disabled device, half a rank in uh, search. And I've got my... I think I put some in open lock, not a lot. Uh, keeping my spellcraft, my use magic device maxed out. It'll slowly catch up and work out fine. I'll just rebuff fully here. Break everything, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna run around. We've already got all those sarcophagi and everything. See, as you run back through, stuff could be popping. I mean, even if you came back around from the beginning, stuff could be popping. So, I say might as well kill them all the first time through. So you don't have to worry about it. This guy scorching rage. Wasn't too terrible. Let's do it again. Yeah, it's not too bad. Borak's kind of tough. Uh, Ranger Patch Lives help. It gives you. Two more elemental resists. I only have one ranger. I do have a ranger that's pure archer. I don't know, that's just the damage. I'm not like it. Oh, it is. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I remember a long time ago, archers were really hurt for damage. I mean, they're definitely better now, but the damage is still pretty low. Taking me too much. I'm having to kite way too much. I don't like it. I'm gonna kite a bit on this guy, but he can kill everything. Whereas the archer, I gotta line everything up. So it comes kind of a pain in the butt. I'm gonna pick this lock, hopefully. Oh, I, yeah, I can get a 19. Okay, let's see. Like I, said, I think there's a chest in here. Yeah, if you like hack and slash quests, this this is one for you. A lot of mobs. Oop, got our cane. Take care of him. It's like a artificers. I like the shooter type artificer, and even it's damage. The blade barrier is still detrimental, but the crossbow damage to me just seems. Not enough. I, mean, I don't want to just one shot everything, but having to put, you know, a dozen bolts into something just seems like it's too much. Yeah, he went to Sharadi at it. Got one of those Sharati. Jeez, I think he's level 22. And <laughs> just the random spells that can happen. Like one, one of them can heal the target. So uh, see the green numbers pop up. You know, right? I like, why, why would I want that? My last or like I said, my last time I went Warlock, it went cold. Just so trying kind of a. Uh, Older build that I liked with Artificer. I tried it with Warlock. And it's working just as well as Artificer right now, so. Not like it was any worse. It's a. Uh, pick up two Paladin levels. With the two Rogue and then 16. I 
16 Warlock or 16 Little Pisser. That two Paladin levels just didn't feel like it did anything for me. Did Epix, I'm still failing all my saves and... I don't know, maybe it's because I'm not geared up enough. But I'm decently geared, I think. All right, but that, that was the last room. So now we go to the center. Any way you feel like going to the center. There's gonna be some ghouls and a named guy. Oh, oh ravenous guest. But he's not even named, he's just a red and super hunger guest. Right in here we got collectible. We have a chest. And we have this tomb that we have to interact with. Oh, ooh. I want to get my voice on. Oh, I'm wearing the cloak anyway, so it don't matter. We've got an action point. I think I just hit close window again. We got 99 XP for whatever that was. I'm just going to grab the heroic deeds. Alright, that is part 3 and 4 of the Catacombs on Elite. Uh, continue with the next video.